How's everyone doing? So I just received my dad's final, I was gonna say Rod Stewart, but I feel like I should just say my dad's final box set, which I am so excited about. I am obsessed with vinyl. I think I have over like 200. I've been collecting since I've been 15. My dad introduced me to it. He also like gave me his record collection. So this is just like super epic to, to see my dad do something like this. And I'm very proud of him. Um, if you are a Rod Stewart fan, this is a great Father's Day gift. Right, Ziggy? So I'm gonna do a little unveiling and see what everything looks like. Ziggy's super excited about it. Wow, this is incredible. How sick is that? And as you can see, it has like a rainbow translucent vibe just in time for pride, which I love. Yeah, and it has everything from Atlantic Crossing, A Night on the Town, Footloose and Fancy Free, and Blondes. Have more fun. Let's take everything out and see what it looks like. So my preferred way, actually, of um, listening to vinyl, usually, is uh, in my bathtub, which would be a little bit awkward if I did this. <laughs> but in my bathtub, in the dark, usually like with a candle lit and having a glass of wine, just like everything sounds more, a lot better on vinyl. And I just, that's why I like to celebrate, you know, a new record coming out or some old ones or some reissues. And so I'm not in the bath obviously, but I do have a glass of wine here, a little sparkling heels. So cheers. And I'm excited to, to go through all this. So now we've unpacked it. This is what it looks like. Look at that cool rainbow. Wow. This is beautiful. As we know, my dad's a big fan of Celtics, so of course you had to throw that in there. Blondes have more fun. Footloose and fancy free, which Ziggy is. Night on the town. I've been told. I look a lot like him. What do you guys think? Uh, Atlantic Crossing, which I, I would have to say, this is one of my favorites of my dad's solo records. Um, Cause it has, I don't wanna talk about it, which is my favorite song of my dad's, one of my favorites. When I miss my dad, I used to listen to that song when he was out on the road. So that really, means the world to me and also sailing it's just that reminds me of my childhood and you know sitting in the audience and watching everyone's lights up in the air singing together so i'm going to give you a little look at what we're looking at here okay so this is the full set here so cool fancy seeing you here I decided on a change of angles because I wanted to be able to see the vinyl go into the vinyl player and stuff. Anyway, so this, as I said, was my favorite, so I want to play it first. Cool fact, Tom Dowd produced this. I also have a baby photo um, of him holding me. He is one of my favorite producers of all time, honestly. Um, and he produced some of my favorite artists, including my dad, but like Aretha and the Almond Brothers, um, and then Steve Cropper. Steve Cropper was in Booker T and the MGs. He's incredible, I've met him. He is just an awesome human being. Okay, you can see that there, yeah, okay. And this is the moment we've been waiting for where the needle goes down into the groove. <laughs> I just want to play, I don't want to talk about it because this is one of my favorites of my dad's. Here we go. All of these have been remastered as well. So it just sounds a lot clearer. To my heart. Don't want to get 
too emotional on my record review, so. But that is just, wow, so stunning. Um, everything sounds so clear. It's funny because I have all the originals of these and just, you know, they have pops and stuff in them. And to get this, you don't, I mean, you still hear the warmth of everything, but there's no skipping and everything because they're all pressed new. On to blondes. Have more fun. I don't think I played these in order, by the way, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Wait. I have to tell you. Just the instrumentation on this. I know it's a hit song, but you talk to any musician, the layers and the amount of just precision on this song is incredible. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready for it. <laughs> I have to say, that is a sick necklace. I wonder if he still has that. The Killing of Georgie is one of my favorites. My dad, I'm pretty sure, wrote this song by himself about a friend of his that unfortunately, um, it was a hate crime, ended up being murdered for simply loving who he wanted to love. This, you know, it's, it's, it says a lot about a song if it still holds relevancy in today's world. And I would say The Killing of Georgie out of all of my dad's songs is still so current today. Okay, now we're on Footloose and Fancy Free. Here we go, look, take a look at it there. Um, I am so digging this outfit my dad's wearing on the back of this. This one's fun. Whoa, this is awesome. Oh yeah. Look at this cool book that you get inside here. This is so neat. This is so cool. Jim Cregan did some background vocals. What? It's like a cartoon in a way, a comic. Pretty neat, pretty neat. All right, you know what I love about all these records? Is that there's a balance between dance songs and songs that you can party to and then songs you can cry to. And I think whenever you buy an actual record and you have to listen to the whole thing and not make a playlist, it says that you love the whole record because someone thought about you listening to it, which I think is what great albums are. Anyways, I'm gonna play two songs on this. One, just to keep dancing a little bit longer. This is, I mean, I love this song. This is always the closer to my dad's show, so it gives me a lot of uh, nostalgia. All right, next one, next one. Wow, everything's so clear. I got excited, guys, I'm sorry. Um, there's this Celtic four leaf clover. So what's so cool about this, so my dad really raised me on some, on a lot of soul music. Uh, Stax Records was just like the soundtrack to my childhood. So, but these are outtakes from the Atlantic Crossing sessions and the uh, A Night Out on the Town sessions. So let's take a listen. <laughs> Loving all of this. So proud of my old pop. All right. So this is a, a great gift for Father's Day and you can get it on Amazon and also at uh, rhino.com. Thanks for joining me. Bye.